So a little over a year and a half ago, me and my kids were in a situation with their father. He was, uh, it was a domestic violence situation that has an effect on children, you know, some, especially if they see certain things. I knew I had to get out, I didn't know how. I left him and so I went to a shelter because I was going to relocate myself. No one can know where you live, not even your loved ones. No one can come to where you live. No one really knows your kid is going off your word. August the 11th, my kid's father was murdered. Me and my kids don't have to live such a secluded life anymore. We're able to get out and do things now. And so now I feel like it's a time for me to transition out of transitional housing into our own home. State has said that I had to put my oldest daughter in a head start. So I was like, what am I gonna do? My life was very difficult. I had to go to neighbors and tell them, can I wash your dishes? Uh, sweep your home uh, dust or anything I can do and you can give me some food. There was nobody to go, hey, can give me some help and help me out with this and nobody. Yeah, it was only me. I'm trying to get my degree in nursing. I'm trying, you know, to better my life for my children and myself and my husband. If you pay uh, regular, they charge like 150 to 200 a week, and sometimes we cannot afford that money. It's too much. In the home care, uh, he was just Spanish, because the lady is Spanish-speaking only, so nothing. He was not learning anything there, and I know how difficult not being able to communicate is. We lost our jobs because AAA started their own fleet. And so all the subcontractors lost their jobs and then it became really important that we um, had an affordable place to take Christian. Christian was pretty quiet, didn't speak a lot, didn't have a very large vocabulary. And it's important for him to get the education that he's getting to, to go into kindergarten. We met Christian where he was, and now he's blooming, he's blossomed. Southside Day Nursery is really important to us because I mean, if we didn't have you guys, we wouldn't have the opportunities to go out and find jobs and, and, uh, and do the things we need to do you know, to succeed as a family. We come here because of the ability to work with our income. We pay $20 a week here. Got SSDN so that my kids um, can go to school while I went to school because I was going to school for my CNA. And SSDN has been wonderful. If you have like parenting questions, they help you. If you're going through like just uh, problems, like personal problems, whatever situation they have, people here who can help you and like they really like there for you. They just don't say, oh, I'm here for you and that's that. They really be here for you. They could come here and look on our computer for uh, to get job. We also give them referrals. We have sources, but we also want to empower them so they can go out and do what they want to do. It's giving me a chance to accomplish my dream of someday becoming a nurse. We serve all types of families, all type of nationalities. You know, our class is a mixture, and we're excited about that. Uh, we're learning Spanish. Um, each person is bringing their own thing to the table, and it's, I think it's a, just a big colorful pot. He will be ready when he go to pre-K or school. He will not be intimidated by other children by not speaking the language. Now he speaks in sentences and speaks all the time and talks. And he loves having his friends. He loves coming to school. And loves the teachers. We're just developing the whole family. We do a lot of uh, testing, uh, the dial, which lets us know where the kid kind of stands. We also do individual lesson plans for the children to incorporate them for their own personal growth and development. Out of 91 applicants, we were picked third for St. Louis Charter Schools. And that was all because we found out about it from you guys. Christian's dad 
was so excited about getting him into charter school and we were excited as well. Uh, I think I almost cried. I actually start a job again uh, today at 4 o'clock. If I would have known it was this much help out here, I would have left soon, and I, I really would have. It's a better future for my children, better life. I don't want them to go what I went through. <laughs>